Okay, guys, this is Mindy Beck with another Cup of Love, Cup of Wisdom. Let's get in here and do an energy check and see what is going on. Remember, this could be past, present, or future energy. Remember to take what resonates, leave it doesn't, flip the signs and rolls as needed. Keep in mind, this is a collector read, not a personal read. Not every message is for every person. Um, the details are in my description box for my channel about personal reads, okay? So let's get in here. Um, so we have someone that said you either weren't a good mother or someone that wasn't a good mother or father figure. So somebody that was not a good parent. <clears throat> this person could have said that you were um, a hoe or a player or they were talking shit to somebody who was a hoe or player um, or this hoe or player. Um, this person could have been somebody that you were in a relationship with. And maybe they use that as an excuse to cheat on you. Um, so they could have went and talked to your mother or father or your mother or father or somebody was talking shit about you. And this person was a rabbit. They were cheating on you. And they used that as an excuse. Um, you could be telling secrets or someone is exposing some sort of secret about this person and what they did. This person wants to come back around to you because they see you're working hard. But this person's about to get their bell rung, or they did get their bell rung, and they're acting like a baby because they're a pig. This person's saying a prayer. They need some sort of help. Uh, maybe they're coming back because they want you back, and they're going to make the excuse, Oh, well, um, I didn't do that. You know, so-and-so said you were cheating, so I cheated on you. Instead of coming to you and talking to you about something, someone took the word of somebody else about who you are and what you are, and then use that as an excuse for their shitty-ass behavior. Go figure. Alright, not getting anything out of that. Let's try these. <clears throat> this person's feeling sorry all of a sudden. I don't know, maybe it's because you're moving on. Maybe you're getting a new start or new beginning somewhere else. They see that you're gaining some sort of attention and you're working hard. Um, somebody's mom or dad or somebody was talking all kinds of shit. This person that was what you were with could have even said you were a bad parent. <clears throat> this person's an asshole. Yes, I have a wig for every single person in the office. You never know when you're going to need a passing resemblance to somebody. So this could have been somebody who wanted to be you. Um, this could have been someone that you worked with. Or it could be a parental figure that was talking shit about you and wanted to impersonate you or wanted to be you. This person could have said you were a bad mother or a bad father. Um, they could have wanted your person. This could have been a coworker situation. We have someone who's a pompous little ass here. Every time I see this person, like, I don't know, this person just thinks they're better than everyone else. So whoever this person that is that was talking shit about you thinks they're better than everyone else, including you. Maybe they think that they're a better parent than you are. That's funny. I misspelled the word in front of the entire school, the word failure. So somebody failed. <clears throat> This could have even been someone you were in a relationship with that were saying um, to other people that was talking shit about you, saying that you were a bad parent, but that's because they were out humping around, cheating on you, and they don't want people to know the truth about why um, you ghosted them. I never, ever, ever would serve you in a million billion years. And then we have a phone tap. So... Someone that didn't want to serve you has been eavesdropping, listening into your conversations. Um, this person could have literally put a bug device in your home to copy you or mimic you in some way or try to catch you doing something. Um, this person could have tried to trigger you to set you off. This person could feel like they have some sort of evidence on technology against you. Um, I feel like someone's taking screenshots of somebody's, like, platform or something, and they're like, see, see, I have proof this person's a shitty parent. You can hear the kids in the background. Someone's mask fell off. Someone's losing their shit because it didn't work. So this person who was trying to make you look like a bad parent is losing their shit. I framed animals before I framed a raccoon for opening a Christmas present, and I framed a bear for eating out of the garbage. So they tried to set you up or frame you for something, 
And this could have involved your children. <clears throat> this could have been um, somebody that you have children with or that you were married to or in a relationship with <clears throat> that tried to say that you were a hoe, that you were the player, um, that you're a bad parent. Jeez. Some say the only failure there is is the failure to try. That is wrong. Failure of any kind is failure. Every time they did something, they failed. Failure, failure, failure. They tried to make you look like a failure. I'm fast to give you a reference point. I'm somewhere between a snake and a mongoose and a panther. So this person did something really quickly. Once again, to try to make you look like a failure. And whatever this person did, it backfired. <clears throat> so I feel like whatever evidence this person thought they had to try to present against you as a bad parent, it backfired because someone's asking them, where did you get this from? Why are you watching them? Why are you all up in their business? Um, I thought I told you to leave this person alone is what I'm hearing. So I don't know what that's about. but Somebody got told to leave someone alone and they didn't want to. So somebody was warned, leave someone alone Stop trying to assassinate their character. Move on with your life. And somebody did not want to move on with their life. Somebody is hell-bent on making somebody look like they're a bad person. Yeah, there was a third-party situation, and they're out of resources. So this person needs money or finances for some reason. This could be somebody who's trying to get child support or alimony or something like that. Um, <clears throat> from another person, but they're hell bent on making somebody else look bad to cover up the fact that they were the whore, that they were the ones sleeping around, whether they're man or woman. But this person tried to put you in a third party situation because they're broke. They had a whole group of people banded together to do this, to do something to you, to possibly stalk you or watch you catch you doing something. Um, if this person said that you were, you know, sleeping around, sleeping with people for money, um, you know, you were doing inappropriate things with your children around, there was a group of people that were helping this person do that, stalk you, watch you, to try to catch you doing something. Everyone's stuck. Everyone's stuck in their hangman energy. Someone's like, whoa, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Something's not right here. Someone is turning their back. Someone's taking a moment to pause and reflect about something, and someone's like, something's not adding up here. Um, something's not right about what you're saying. This person wants to be with you. So this is somebody that's connected to the person that puts you in a third-party situation. So this is somebody that's connected to your ex in some way, shape, or form, or somebody that is connected to either a parent that was talking shit about you. This could be a friend of your ex, someone that knows you. Um... Somebody wanted an entire family to be out on the streets, to be homeless. Someone is questioning why they would do something. Why would you want these people homeless? Why would you want the mother or father of your children out on the streets? Um, how are you going to pay for this? I'm hearing someone ask, how are you going to pay for this? So I'm not sure um, what this person is trying to pay another person for, but someone is being questioned on how they're going to pay for something. You're moving forward and rebuilding. Um, you know, you've been heavily burdened by whatever this person has done to you. This was a false twin flame. This is someone that you can't communicate with because they can't stand to see you happy. Every time you commun communicate with this person, they try to st start a fight or altercation. Um, this person is sending messages to people saying that you're sleeping around, that you're a whore, that you're a slut, that, you know, you're dipping your wand in anything that moves, that kind of thing, that you're a player. Um, this person had someone watching the mother of their child. So some somebody sent some sort of message or communication to have other people watching. And these people were paid to do something. And they're not seeing something clearly about this situation or about the person that paid them to do something. There's something that these people are not seeing clearly. Um, obviously, the fact that this person was lying because they were trying to steal something, whether it's your child, your money, your time energy. I mean, this person was just dead set on making your life a living hell. I'm still trying to figure out how are you going to pay for this? I, I don't know. 
um, what that's in reference to, but somebody was supposed to pay somebody for something and maybe it's, they were supposed to be paying this group of people and they don't have the resources to pay this group anymore. Someone is in debt to a lot of people. I'm going to check these cards out. I mixed my Deadpool and my Guardians of the Galaxy cards. So somebody that came against you didn't expect you to have support. Somebody didn't expect you to fight back against these allegations. They're like, oh, yo, me and my posse just showed up. What up? Me and the collective just rolled in on your asses. Oh, yeah. Someone's powerful. Someone has a powerful deity or a god. Um, mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a very powerful deity that's stepping up. Um, so yeah, if you, I mean, you may have a group of friends or you may have the support of some people, but there's a very powerful force here that's stepping up. Um, and nobody is going to see something coming. Something big is about to happen. There's a big old, oh wow. Yeah. Something, this is a really powerful being, whoever this deity angel um i don't know like old egyptian god i don't even know which one this is but it they're very powerful anything else oh yeah somebody wants to offer you some flowers too so that's that person who knows your ex or that is connected to them they want to offer you some sort of flowers um, yeah, man, somebody stepped up on your behalf in the spiritual realm and you don't fuck with whoever this is. I don't know which one. I don't know who, but they're very powerful. I mean, this, this is like the, um, I'm hearing the God of the gods. I mean, it's not the God. I mean, it may be the God, but I feel like it's not the God. It's, um, one of the, the lower, you know, the lower G gods, like the, one of the ancients. But, wow, yeah. That's some pretty powerful stuff right there. Somebody said, I don't think so. So you come from a pretty powerful bloodline, whoever you are. Um, yeah, there's somebody that said, I don't think so. Um, yeah, there's a moment of pause. And there's reflection time. It's this person that wants to come give you some sort of flowers. They're checking out your gifts, your talents. Um, they're seeing how gifted you are. They're like, ooh, I could use that on my side. I want to be on the right side of things. Someone is admiring you. So this could be at work, something you do for work or a platform. Somebody was not a star. Somebody didn't appreciate you. They didn't want to celebrate with you. They put you in a third-party situation with the Four of Wands there. Um, you know, they... They were spreading misinformation and they were saying that, you know, life was hell with you, you're evil and this and that. But the person who was actually telling the lies is the person who is evil and dark. This person's in despair because they're not celebrating with you. So somebody could have done something out of spite or revenge is what I'm getting. Um, they were in despair because you chose not to celebrate your accolades with them. Or maybe that they didn't know you had these gifts. So somebody is in despair that they didn't know how gifted you were. Now someone wants to come rushing in um, with the Knight of Swords to tell you some sort of truth. About a jealous Queen of Cups. This could be the person that said you weren't a good mother figure. Or this is somebody who... Helped spread these rumors or lies about you um, so that they could get the attention of somebody else. Maybe they thought somebody wouldn't want you if they thought you were nasty. 
Yeah, this person was a fool. This jealous queen of cups tried to make you look bad. They're in despair because they ended up not celebrating with somebody because they're evil. They're not divine. And they're upset because they don't have the gifts that you do. This karmic lover lied. This kar karmic relationship. This person lied with the Page of Swords. They came in and lied about something about this Queen of Cups. Or the jealous Queen of Cups lied about somebody else. This is a karmic relationship. Um, this could be a mother figure. This could be your mother figure that did this as well. This person caused a lot of heartbreak between you and another person. Um, the Empress in the reverse, yeah. There's an Empress in the reverse. This could be a mother figure um, that created some sort of illusion about you. Meanwhile, you're the Hierophant. You're the official person. And you've called judgment on these people for what they've put you through. They were trying to stop you from moving forward. They're illusions. They can't go anywhere with these. These illusions didn't go anywhere. They were failures because there was no evidence to back them up. Whatever evidence these people tried to portray against you, it actually backfired. You're about to get a ton of pentacles. You have money coming to you. Yeah, they did not have a positive outcome for the lies that they told about you and the things that they put you through. This person was just jealous and envious of you. They're upset about your gifts and your talents. I mean, this person is just really, really jealous. They were jealous of the person that you were dating as well. This could have also been somebody that you dated or were in a relationship with. Take it how it resonates. I'm seeing it both ways. <coughs> I'm seeing that <coughs> this was a jealous mother figure <coughs> of somebody. This could also be the mother of your own child that said this about you. Somebody that you dated wanted to stop you from having a new start or a new beginning. Um, you could be at a crossroads. Um, you may have a decision to make, but you have the ancestral protection and you've got the you've got the ancient gods um and i feel like you have the god behind you too obviously because you're divine whatever seed you've planted they're starting to show fruit or they will be in the near future you're going to start seeing money coming in for you and eventually i don't know if this ten of pentacles is i mean the ten of pentacles is a large lump sum of money um that's a good chunk of change there Somebody was obsessed with hiding some sort of information or keeping people blind from seeing the truth. They were withholding a very key piece of information and somebody daydreamed about this and obsessed about different ways to stop people from learning um, a very important piece of information. And it could be the fact that you're a high priestess and you're manifesting and you're a shapeshifter and that you had these gifts and talents. Um, this person was trying to keep it hidden that you had these gifts and talents and that they don't have them with the eight of pentacles. Um, so the treasure, so, um, that could also be like the treasure as well. Like you're being seen as a treasure. Um, your gifts can bring you finances. They didn't want you to have any options. This person was literally out to destroy you, man. This person put themselves under judgment. And once again, this is the Empress card in the reverse. Meanwhile, you're at peace. I mean, you've made peace with whatever these people have done to you. So it doesn't affect you like they thought it would. I mean, yes, it hurts. Yes, it's painful. But you healed from whatever they've done to you. Yeah, they definitely caused you some sort of injury. They caused you some sort of pain and heartache. But you're still standing. Thanks to your divine protection. There was an emperor here. A tyrant energy. So that was your ex that could have worked with your mother figure. Or they could have worked with somebody else who was a mother to do, spread these lies about you. This could have been a jealous copycatish energy. Someone who wanted to be you. You have money coming towards you. This person, this emperor didn't want to offer you your flowers. But you have an offer coming to you. 
but they tried to make you look guilty of something. Um, this emperor tried to make you look like you were guilty of something, and it failed miserably. You are going to be set free from a negative situation because this person lied. The Page of Wands, they withheld some sort of information or lied. Um, and this has them in despair. They thought you would be the one in despair. But somebody withheld an important piece of information or they were being childish with some sort of communication. And now they're in despair over what they did because they're not held in high honor and their betrayals are being exposed. And the fact that they travel towards you to do this because you're a hierophant, you're exposing their bullshit secrets. The Wheel of Fortune is not on their side. And then we have the Jealous King of Cups. So we had a Queen of Cups come out in the reverse. And now we have the King of Cups coming out in the reverse. This could have been a couple who got married at some point. They could have been married. You're moving on to calmer waters. But these people created an imbalance for you. You could be watching your financial stability at this time. But these, pe these people worked really hard to create this imbalance for you. And they're not sorry. They were trying to stop you from rebuilding and moving forward and to stop you from getting offers. They didn't want you to have any offer from anybody. They didn't want anyone to help you or feel sorry for you or, you know, be empathetic towards you. I mean, this is just dirty, dirty, dirty. Yeah, now this person is left scratching their butt. Now they want to come back around. But they were already sneaky to you. Someone's in bad health. Someone could be having a heart attack. This, someone's clutching their chest. Someone's in deep pain, deep regret. Uh, I'm seeing a heart attack. Yeah, this person was a fool. Part of their karma is to have a heart attack. Um, this person's going to be passing away. Um, I feel like this is the emperor in the reverse. Um, but it could also be the female in, in the reverse as well. If they're an older couple, um, they could both be in bad health. You're going to be hooking up with your twin flame, all in divine timing. Somebody lied to you or lied about you to your twin flame to stop them from coming towards you. Um, that's one of the reasons they didn't want you to get this offer. They lied. This person, your twin flame, is someone that knows your ex. Use your intuition. Your sibling knows something. So if this is your mother, your sibling was in on this or they knew about it. Or it could be your sibling that lied about you and was competing with you. Your sibling could have lied to your twin flame about you as well. Out of jealousy. Your sibling was meeting up with someone secretly. So if this was a jealous sibling, they were meeting up with an ex of yours. Um... Or someone that you viewed as your sibling. So this could have been someone that you viewed as like a close friend or sister or something like that. It doesn't have to be your blood related sister. Some Just somebody that you viewed as a sister figure. They could be a mother as well. That's That could be why they're showing up as the empress. Um, the feminine energy. This person was not guided by their ancestors. So this person was jealous of your relationship. And then them and your baby daddy or whooever this is. Um, <clears throat> we're hooking up. They say they never cheated on you, but that's a lie. These people were under an illusion, so they deceived themselves. They had some sort of illusion that they created that they believed themselves. It's like they don't want to see the light or the truth about a situation about you. They don't want to see the truth about you that you're actually a loving, kind person. These people don't have a clue about what's going to happen. Someone doesn't have any clue how um, these people even got as far with their lies as they did. You healed from these wounds, but these karmics are going to be kicking the bucket, or at least one of them is.
They wanted you to lose everything but the kitchen sink, and you might have. You might have been in a state of poverty because of what these people did to you. They ripped you off. That's for sure. They ripped you off. You could have lost everything but the kitchen sink. These people wanted this person, afraid of his or her own shadow. <clears throat> These people wanted your twin flame to be scared to approach you. They wanted you to be seen as a dime a dozen. No one's special. But this person thinks you're cute as a button. These people were being a pain in the neck. And the burning question is why. Um, they're broke. Now they have to bite the bullet for what they did. There's something significant about a Wednesday in August. This was the blind leading the blind. Someone's going to need an 11th hour uh, mercy. Someone's going to be begging for mercy. They're going to be throwing a Hail Mary pass. Um, this could be you even praying for a miracle because of the situation you're in that they put you in. But you're going to get the help because you're the real deal. You're the real McCoy and you're the higher offense. So when you ask for shit, that deity that came out earlier, you're going to get it. These people are all talking no action. They're talking a lot of shit. They're going to jail. There's a big tower moment. There's a whole can of worms that's been opened because of these people. They're shady as fuck. This is someone from your past that's trying to take something to the next level. Um, but you're sharp as a tack. And they're chomping at the bit. This could be a younger sibling than you that's involved, or you could be younger. Somebody younger than you is chomping at the bit, and then I have a Gemini and under his or her thumb. So there's somebody that thought they had control over you, but something was not written in stone. They're not coming out of the woods. There's an Aries here. You reap what you sow, and then I have an Aquarius and a fine kettle of fish, and this person was a fair weather friend. There's something significant about a Sunday in February with an Aquarius, and you're going forward. This person is just jealous of you. There's something significant about November and judgment. So you could have placed judgment on them, or there's something that they did in November that's going to bring a judgment um, on them. They tried to make you start over from scratch, so they tried to get you to lose everything, and something is being exposed. Their secrets are being exposed. Everything that they said about you, they failed. You're moving on to calmer waters. These people don't do anything from a labor of love. They're evil. They're sadistic. A cord cutting may be needed. They need to move on, but they won't. Letter C could be significant, person, place, or a thing. I, a CI. A criminal investigation is going on? Wow, what the fuck do these people do? D, CID. CID stands for something. I know COD is cash on delivery. I can't remember what CID stands for. Z, Jeez. I had H flip out onto my lap. L. I. K. One more. And O. Oh, C I D Z H L O I K. I hope this helps, folks. Have a good day.